hard. It might work. I don't know. You want to do it? Okay. The deacon today provided a quote that I thought was really timely, and he said, love does not consist of gazing at each other, but in looking outward together in the same direction. This commitment of shared values, of looking outward together, is precisely what makes their relationship successful, and it will keep it strong for years to come. It's a wonderful thing to be head over heels in love. It's a wonderful thing to be consumed by a force that directs your entire life. And I've asked a lot of different couples the secret of long married life, and we get a multitude of answers. Never sweat the small stuff, and always go to bed happy. I just want them to always make sure that when they have an argument, get over it, talk it over, and love each other always. But when Jesus speaks about love as he loves us, he's speaking about boundless, timeless love. And how are we going to make the love and marriage last until death do we part? You see, a successful marriage requires falling in love over and over and over again with your spouse. So that even when you don't always see eye to eye, you can still walk hand in hand. show. Since I met Anthony, he has always been extremely warm and welcoming to me and my entire family. Anthony, I think I speak for everyone here when I say that we all love you for being such a great partner to Jess, and we all want to marry you. <laughs> In you, Jessica's found a perfect partner with all your wonderful qualities. You're a man of integrity, love, thoughtfulness, and devotion to family. So family is the thing that's most dear to Anthony. And so when we met Jess and it started to become apparent, Jess was going to join the family. We were super excited. As most of you parents know, when you have a child, your world's never the same after that. Same has been with Jessica. And so where has that brought us to? Because here's my little girl, who now is a very independent thinking, very, very successful businesswoman. Look where, you, look where you've come, my little, my little girl. My great pleasure to introduce for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Beckham.
think about my daughter being born, I think about her first smile and her first giggle. I distinctly remember the eye contact that we made. Jessica looked directly into my eyes and there was an immediate bond. And at that moment I knew I had a true best friend. <laughs> now you're making me cry. I, I didn't know if I was gonna have a boy or a girl and when his little head popped out and I saw it in the mirror up there and I said, oh thank God, I have a little boy. And he's so happy.